Hey, thanks so much for the Loom video. Um, updating objects and object arrays are always uh, super tricky, um, so don't worry. But you were really almost there. Um, let's go ahead and break this down. Bas you can probably already see my screen. I'm doing an update variable instead of create variable. Um, let's go ahead and let's just run our get record. And you can see we have um, user ID, we have game day option, three point field goal, uh, game day stats, uh, we have 10. I have that as text right now. Maybe that should have been an integer. Besides the point, um, let's go ahead and say we want to do just a single um, stat at a time, a single object, right? We'll just go ahead and look at this for now. Um, make sure if it's not from a database link, um, you're just creating that structure here. You're adding whatever fields they are um, for the path. That's just very important. Um, so let's go ahead and first do the single stat object. Um, so you were right to have the append uh, because you're just adding a single item to an array. Um, but the difference is instead of creating a variable, you're going to want to update uh, this variable that we just got. So we'll do stats dot at object array, which is game day stats by itself. And then we'll append um, the input, which is that single object. Um, now, when we do that, we can go ahead and on our updated record, we can just simply add that updated um, variable stats uh, dot game day stats. So that is the variable from our get record and just that path. Um, so let's go ahead and return updated now. And then I'll also show you how to do it with an object array input. So we have updated. Um, so now we'll add um, just a single stat in here. We can ignore this array right now. So we'll add rebounds for 12. And we can see that gets added to uh, the updated object. We'll go ahead, uh, maybe say uh, turnovers. And we'll say they had one turnover. And you can see, once again, that gets added. Um, so now what's just a little bit different is if we're doing an input of an object array, um, still do an update variable by itself, but we're going to use a merge in this case um, for the input. So let's go ahead and add that. We'll just go ahead and reset this. Um, we can actually just ignore the single stat but in this array, let's go ahead. If I put this in here, um, we'll say something else right here. We'll say points. And we'll just make that a reasonable number. Um, so assists for 10 and points for 43 should be added um, to that big object array. And I didn't put in uh, an ID value for the stats. Let's go ahead and run that again. Um, so now we have that all added to the object array. So uh, really, you'll want to do an update variable. The filter will depend on if you're doing a single object stat or an object array. Um, even if you are doing a, like just one stat in the object array, anytime you have those array brackets, you'll still want to use merge. Um, obviously, the object is set to just a single object. So for example, um, if I were to just have a single object in this array, I would still need to use merge because I have these uh, flat array brackets here. This is actually still an array, just an array of one. So I would still use merge there. Um, we'll just check our database as a sanity check. Uh, stats. And we can see Steph had a great game. Um, and all those are there.